it to be? Yeah, I think we got 37 plays in. Um, you know, I would have liked to have seen like around 80. Um, but you know, I, the work was good. I thought the the you know reason for coming here to work the situations to get a feel for game flow, all that we did. I thought the guys um, they responded well. They battled. It was competitive. Um, so I, I'm, I'm pleased with the day. I would have liked to, have, and I think they would. Have, I know they would have liked to have gone back out for more. But uh, we'll, we'll get the live situation work in this week, and we'll have another chance to do it here this uh, next weekend. Was the heavy rain? Okay, we're not gonna keep waiting. It just it seemed like there were just cells popping up, and it was the the clock kept restarting. The rain the rain. I, what I didn't want to do is have the team sitting for an hour and change, and then take them back out on a muddy field and have someone have a soft tissue issue. Um, you know, and and so it, it, you know, like I think sometimes as a coach, these are moments where you have to you have to despite what your wishes are, just say hey, the, the right thing right now is we're healthy. Uh, we had a good day. Um, we've had a really good week. So let's let's um, let's shift our focus to having a great Sunday and Monday and uh, getting back after it uh, next week. Usually there's a little bit of shuffling with the first and second teams after the first scrimmage. Does this give you enough sample size to be able to do that a little bit? Or not you know, I don't know that it does. I I, I don't know that we would have uh, taken that approach anyways. I think what we're doing is is. You know, we've gotten some live work in practice, and we'll do that this week. And we've got some great situational work in practice. So I think today would have been a great day to stack just with some of our younger players getting some live action and seeing extended uh, opportunities to, to play within the structures. Um, we'll manufacture those in the week. And I think, you know, after next scrimmage is really where we're, we're going to be dialing into a two deep uh, heading into Hawaii. Coach, there's a, a lot of vocal energy, of course, in the sideline black team on defense is that something that you guys want to pride yourselves in especially leading into the season well we want to build a program that's like this the signature of the program is spirit and enthusiasm and that, that I mean we can talk about it all we want it's 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 got to come out in those competitive moments and we believe that you know each each one of us is responsible for our energy the energy we bring and that we can be a collective force and that that means that in those competitive moments guys have to be willing to speak up and support and um, it's something we're paying attention to, and so hopefully it continues to to um, to manifest in our preparation, and then it needs to show up when we're in Hawaii. And some of that is is evolution for our program. I mean, I, one of the things that just just um, kind of hit me right in the face at the start of last season was, you know, this team needing to learn how to to play in the back and forth of a emotional football game, and we we have to. We have to make the agreement as a group to dictate terms on the field, not to wait and always counter punch, but to be ready to go. And so having that energy is a part of that mindset. Yeah, to, to that, that was kind of a, a point of criticism a year ago was, was coming out flat, not enough emotion. And, and even it was said about you at times. How did you guys handle that? Did, did you assess that as an issue? Is that something you've changed an approach on going forward? Well, I mean, I. I yeah, it was, certainly it was an issue. Certainly it was something that we wanted to, you know, to uh, adapt and change. I, you know, that I'm talking more from a standpoint of early game adversity, yeah. kind of stealing our ability to, you know, to, to compete, you know. And um, I, I did feel like as the year went on, we, we moved past that. Yeah. Um, but listen, I mean, as far as my personality, my persona goes, like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've, I've, uh, I've coached plenty of um, groups, units, you know, sides of ball where um, the competitive edge shows up, you know, day in, day out, every Saturday. There's a formula there. This is an, uh, I think it was a, an example of things that don't, don't change overnight, but take time. And yeah. this year is about identity, and we're, we're, we've been working on this identity since, since January, since we first got back, and. Uh, we're getting closer to it, and that that doesn't mean that we're, you know, you're not going to, you know, snap your fingers and all of a sudden we we get to pounce on opponents. But I think the mindset of being ready before you begin and starting fast is something that you have to pull into preparation at every turn, and that's what we've done, and we'll continue to design that way. I want to make sure I'm not putting words in your mouth. Are you saying you thought that was as much of a just a you didn't handle early adversity in a game as much as it was an energy issue coming out of the locker room sort of thing? Yeah, I think. I think there were, you know, it's just we we were a team a year ago where 
um, we wanted things to work a certain way and that they worked a certain way that we were able to um, kind of channel our, our energy and channel our performance for positive. But I thought early in the year when, when, when we ran up against adversity, we, we defaulted to old habits, you know? And so um, what, what I learned as a coach was the need to really hardwire some of those responses that maybe I took for granted or maybe that had taken time to build elsewhere that we just, we needed more time together. And we were able to do that as the year went, you know? Um, but um, I don't think there was any issue with the energy running out of the tunnel, but I don't think that's ever the issue, right? It's, it's once you absorb that first punch, how you respond. And, um, you know, we, we've spent a lot of time this, you know, since the off season really working on that, um, that level of mental preparation. That, and, 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 and honestly, the confidence, it's just the confidence. What does confidence come from? It comes from your training. It's about the day in, day out work where you are pushing yourself behind, behind your, beyond your comfort zone and learning about yourself and, and, and transforming. And um, I think we step into this season further along in that evolution. And, you know, we won't know until we know though, right? So it's just, you've got to keep training and got to keep, you know, building that mindset in. Maybe not much of a sample size here, but what do you make of the quarterbacks today, Mike in particular? You think the whole idea of the touch sacks kind of limits maybe some of what he can bring given his escapability? It's just yeah. the nature of a scrimmage. I try, you know, it's, I, I'm the least popular guy and I, I'm popular among the referees because I take on the, the sack calls. I'm the least popular on the field because I can't make one right. But, um, you know, I thought, I thought they, they all had moments. I, you know, I would like to have seen Mike a little more and, and, and seen him. I mean, we've seen him this week start to really open up um, as, a, as a runner, and, and um, he's had a couple of really nice plays that way. I, I don't know that he ever really got a chance to, to get that going today, but um, you know, I, thought, I thought Ken had a, a, a nice uh, sequence in the red zone where he was able to see a pressure and made a check. Um, got got a, a slant ball off. It was a third down that would have been converted. Jay McGowan's got to come up with a catch. You know, we got to make the routine plays. Obviously, AJ Swan was able to lead some drives that I thought, um, you know, showed showed an ability to to um, just to manage a game flow. So I mean, I thought it was a good day for them, um, but I don't know that it was uh, the sample size was long enough to really you know to have a lot of opinion. Or judgment on it. Is Orgy is is he actually injured or more of a maintenance? Thing? More of a load maintenance thing. Um, he, he's it's soft tissue, and we just want to make. I mean, we we saw him play, you know, um, a lot of snaps a year ago, and so um, we want to make sure he's healthy and feeling good. So we think he can be a dynamic playmaker for us, and you know, we're gonna we're gonna take the the precautionary steps to make sure he's healthy for the season. Coach, are, are you seeing a visible difference in team speed? after last season, especially with a lot of the younger guys you guys were able to bring in? It, it, a visible dis difference, a measured difference. You know, we, 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 we have GPS units on our, our team. And um, again, this is a testament to Coach Morgan and his staff and their training. But, uh, you know, there's two, there's, there's two types of evolution. There's the development of the team that is here, that returns. And then there's the recruiting for the team of the future, too. And, and um, in both, in both, on both sides, we've seen advancement in speed. And uh, you know that obviously that's a that's a great first step to closing the gap that we need to close. How do you feel about what you're getting between the safety and the anchor spot? We have a lot of versatility there, um, and I think when you talk about the field triangle, that's a place where we absorbed a lot of yards last year, and um, I feel really good about um, kind of the upgrades we've made both through development, but also through br the bringing in of new players. Um, I feel like it's going to give us a chance to close spaces faster. Um, and uh, I, I do think we have guys that are playing multiple positions that are still learning. So um, the next few weeks will be important, but um, I'm excited to see kind of how that all comes together. I do think it's a place of improvement for us. Anything else, guys? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks.